everybody welcome back to the rebel Trump channel today we're gonna take a closer look on the solos hold padawan empty hilt so uh, sit back and let's go to the in-depth review and welcome back so we're gonna take a close-up look on this saber now i'm showing it off in the empty configuration because that is in how most cases you will purchase this hilt because it's mainly meant for do-yourself guys or girls that want to install the electronics themselves um, but of course during the video footage you will show it uh, I will show it installed with electronics um, so let's start with the hilt itself uh, we're gonna take a look at the emitter section really nice um, at the bat you can see the retention screws are actually a little bit different um, the retention screw for the blade is actually in the front of the hilt where you have the control section that is a little bit less frequent or m less often happening um, a lot of designs have the retention screw for the blade on the bottom together with the LED retention screw hole. But in this case, Aaron uh, from um, Seolus Hold uh, uh, chose to do it in the front. Then we have a hole for a tactile switch. So if you have a soundboard uh, that you install in this hilt uh, with uh, auxiliary sounds, then you can install that tech switch. And it has a space for a 12 millimeter AV switch, lit or non-lit and then we have the midsection which has a nice choke point and then we have this very beautiful design for a leather wrap or just keep it in this alloy form um, I pretend to keep it in this form because it, I find it so mesmerizing to look at those details like uh, sorry there's uh, a lot of fingerprints on it I tried to clean it off but it keeps getting dirty super fast uh, but it just looks amazing uh, really really nice And then we have the pommel. So let's start with the pommel. The pommel is ridiculous light. This is definitely the lightest pommel ever handled. It's also super thin. The alloy is really, really thin. Um, but it's really cool actually to show. Um, so this is a, a single piece. And just look at the diameter of this uh, alloy. It's a really, really thin, especially at, uh, at the bottom part. So using the saber i would say use it with cautious because it i think it has a tendency to re receive easily dents or um, cracks um, if you drop it uh, in a wrong area especially where the holes are drilled uh, it might have a chance to you know crack um, but it, it makes it really really light it's a beautiful pommel as well um, not a, a design that i've seen often for a pommel so that's really nice and then we have the hilt and the inside can see how smooth that is really smooth out really nicely done really paid a lot of attention to um, cleaning this hilt up making it as nice as pro, pro, as pretty as beautiful uh, making it as clean and pretty as beautiful uh, making it a, making the hilt cleaning the hilt up after um, construction and just have it very smooth from the inside uh, as well and that's really appreciated if you have a chassis you want to slide in and out you want to have a smooth inner surface that allows that uh, uh, chassis to uh, move uh, in the hilt to get it out quite easily and then we have this beautiful design here on top of the emitter nicely drilled in holes there and then the, the window emitter slits here around it uh, the um, choke point is really nice it actually grips really nice with several fingers or uh, just in the hand palm um, overall feeling real comfortable and the uh, tactile switch is also uh, sunken so you cannot accidentally hit the tactile switch uh, when you are holding this hilt uh, nice choke point here as well allows for good spinning um, overall it's a pretty small hilt uh, nice good diam diameter this is really a preferred diameter in terms of thickness for me um, they're a little bit thicker than uh, the standard uh, uh, Vader's Hold Combat class but it's actually my preferred thickness for hilts because I just feel it's more comfortable in the hands than uh, Vader's Fold which sometimes in the combat class feels like a uh, oversized cigar they're so thin that it's just a little bit uncomfortable for me to hold um, in terms of thinness and then we have a hole here for a uh, recharge port where you can put in your kill key and this is a retention screw for the um, Covertech wheel so we get a whole bunch of stuff with this hilt as well if you buy this kit from Solus Hold you get the hilt of course and put back the pommel so you get the pommel 
and the hilt you get uh, this uh, heatsink holder so uh, this is where your the, the bottom of the heatsink screws into this is where uh, this lip here holds the um, lens of the LED in place so it doesn't fall out you see it, it snap catches on this uh, lid on the inside and you put in your LED and then we have uh, several other items here that you get with it now I have to be a little bit careful with some, some small screws in there um, we get a uh, cover tech wheel that comes with this kit so just a plain design uh, very smooth like faders fold uh, no uh, nothing uh, special of the design of the cover tech wheel and then the bottom of the heatsink now this is an alloy heatsink this is not a uh, copper uh, bottom heatsink um, oh that's funny I just noticed uh, that the screw is, is in there um, so that's a little bit unfortunate there's a screw stuck inside the hole so hopefully I can get it out there and uh, let me see if I can pry it out yep okay that was easy enough okay but um, so this is the bottom of the heatsink um, I wish it was made of copper because that uh, a copy heatsink uh, bottom is a little bit better with uh, uh, getting rid of the heat from the LED that's accumulated when you have your LED on um, but nonetheless it's it's a nice heatsink it's quite shallow as well and then this notch here which I love especially for the LED um, screw that you screw in here you screw in the screw screw in the screw and it latches into this heatsink uh, part here so it actually keeps the heatsink really good in place because a lot of companies they screw the heatsink into their hilt and then it just pries into the LED unit uh, but that's not the best way because it's a quite uh, f um, smooth finish on these uh, heatsink so it moves over time if you get an uh, an vertical hit from your blade of your uh, the blade point and then it pushes down because the blade is resting on this LED unit and it pushes down the whole LED unit inside the hilt and by having a screw that is sandwiched in between this notch here it, that doesn't happen so I, I really like this design and that's why I like um, the work of uh, Solos Hold uh, because they together uh, Dart Alice uh, with Solos Hold really thought about how to design this hilt and uh, for the applications on dueling and uh, uh, they kept that in mind so I absolutely love that and then of course you get a whole bunch of screws that are necessary to assemble the hilt parts onto the hilt itself now the hilt itself as I said or I did not say but the hilt itself is a single piece and uh, it's just a beautifully well crafted hilt and uh, so now we're going to take a look at the weight of the guys I'm now guys I'm really really impressed with the Solos Hold Pad one this is the lightest anti hilt I ever handled like it's ridiculous light 155 grams that includes the heat sink that is made of a alloy uh, you get the cover tech wheel as well the screws required of course there's no electronics installed no blade no blade plug uh, but let's say it's gonna add another hundred maybe 120 grams uh, to build it to a stance configuration um, so let's say this hilt will be a little bit under 300 grams uh, with electronics and that is ridiculous light that is lighter than a uh, uh, Vader's Fold combat class and uh, you can definitely feel that and that's something I like so I really like this hilt for open carry because um, it's a smaller hilt it's a light hilt so it's comfortable and mobile to uh, carry around and it looks stunningly amazing um, it's just a beautiful hilt and uh, it's just feather feather weight yeah, uh, feather feather light it's really feather feather light I love this and welcome back guys so hope you like that in-depth review now this is a little bit less of a, a traditional review that you can expect from me in terms of custom sabers normally you would see me doing uh, flourishes and uh, making outside footage and whatnot but since this is an empty hilt and being sold to uh, basically an audience that gonna install electronic themselves in these hilts I thought why not just keep it as it is because that best showcase that is a hilt designed and made for the do-yourself crowd um, Solos Hold can do an install for you 
um, you can do an install yourself or you can ask the sabersmith to do the install for you but I want to showcase the hilt as it is because um, as an installer you might want to know how the dimensions are um, how does it look from the inside and what is the overall um, uh, feel and look of it and I have to say I'm really impressed by it um, there's a few factors that I want to point out if you've seen in the video, it's super, super light. This is a very, very light uh, hilt, especially the pommel. It's just amazing how thin that pommel is. That is like, it, I'm not gonna say it's made of paper, that thin, but it feels like it's almost nothing. It's super thin. Um, that might be a little bit of an issue if you drop it on the, on the wrong corner. Uh, it might crack, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but the overall finish is really nice. Um, I mean, uh, Solus Holt is well renowned for his uh, awesome uh, CNC milling. The um, button hole, the 12 millimeter AV switch hole, actually has threads in it, so you can actually screw in a button. Um, that is a very nice touch. The um, the auxiliary button is on top of it, and then you have the um, retention screw for the uh, LED and whatnot. Um, but um, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a really, really, really nice um, Sabre design. Um, it's, it's super light, it's comfortable, it's a small hilt, it's a small hilt for sure, it's definitely a one-hander, and it's definitely more of a Jedi design than a Sith design in my, in my personal opinion. Um, now, a, a bit of a, a history fact on this, um, this hilt was designed by Solo's Holt with help of Dart Ellis. Uh, Dart Ellis gave a lot of uh, hints and tips and tricks and uh, steered uh, the final product together with Solos Holt. So this was more of a, a little bit of a collaboration between Solos Holt and uh, uh, um, Dart Ellis. And the reason for that being that uh, Solos Holt was the Padawan or he was the learning, uh, yeah, I said that, he was, he was the student. Of Dart Alice. Dart Alice uh, learned Solos all, all the tips and tricks of the uh, uh, master the lightsaber um, um, fabrication and um, that's where one of the first uh, things that came out of that uh, apprenticeship was this hilt uh, by Solos Holt and that's really cool. Um, nice uh, little history behind that. Um, so yeah it's a really really cool hilt overall uh, it feels nice in the hand it's just a, a fantastic saber um, if you want to get your hands on it uh, i believe they run around 225 us dollar empty um, there are special occasions where you can get special discounts and um, that's how i picked it up and if you're interested in seeing more about Solus Hold, just stay around because there will be more Solus Hold reviews on my channel as well. So I hope you liked the video. Um, it's a little bit different as I said. Uh, this is definitely more for the do-yourself guy um, or the Sabre installers. Um, if you're just keen on getting that Sabre but you're not uh, in Sabre installer or you know not really familiar with installing electronics, um, get in touch with one of the many custom installers and they can do it for you. Um, then you just had a nice overview of what this saber is gonna entail for you because it's a really cool saber. I really recommend it, especially if you're looking for a lighter rate saber and not too big, then this is definitely a saber you wanna look into it. Um, this is just a fantastic size. It's small though, it's small, uh, but I mean, there's definitely a lot of applications where you can think of uh, that this saber might be suitable for. So um, again, thanks for watching and as always, stay scummy. Please subscribe for more weekly videos, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, sponsor the channel at our Patreon page. Stay scummy.